It was mid-September in the freezing waters off the coast of Mamansk that the Greenpeace activists aboard the Arctic Sunrise were arrested by armed Russian security forces, taken into custody as they attempted to climb aboard a Russian oil rig to protest against drilling in this threatened region of the Arctic. The 30 taken off the ship came from 18 different countries and included three Russians, two medical personnel and a well-known photographer. The group were all initially charged with piracy, later reduced to hooliganism, but that still carried a seven-year sentence if found guilty. The charges by the Russian authorities attracted international criticism. The German Chancellor Angela Merkel and the former Beatle Sir Paul McCartney adding their voices of protest. The seven foreigners given bail came from New Zealand, Brazil, Poland, Canada and Italy. Two activists came from Argentina. One of those bailed on Tuesday, 49-year-old engineer aboard the Arctic Sunrise, David Hausman from New Zealand, was told that he and the others would be required to return when a trial date has been set. For him it had been an unpleasant experience. Being put in a cage is publicly humiliating and also gives a presumption of guilty. The three Russians were bailed on Monday. The others will be allowed to return home after paying bail of $61,000. Over the next day or so, it's expected that more of the 30 activists will be granted bail, but it's by no means guaranteed. Australian activist Colin Russell had his detention order extended by three months. Peter Sharp, Al Jazeera in Moscow.